Hi everybody, my name is Sarah, Pearls of Wisdom and Food on both Facebook and YouTube. This is Bulletproof Coffee, and I've given the recipe out for what works for me many times. And it actually ends up being more like a coconut milk latte with butter and coconut oil. It's delish. Anyway, here we are today, and my question for you today is, do you or did you feed your sugar crashes with sugar? That's what happens sometimes to us when we're at our worst, right? We will eat all of this garbage, crash, and then think we needed more. Have you ever gotten to that slump in the afternoon and fed it with something that only triggered and triggered for more and whoo, spiked you up and then crashed you down? Yeah, not good, huh? And so what you need is something that's got a little more protein or maybe some fats instead of having a sugar bomb. And um, just not a good idea. So, and maybe that's what you did in the past. I know that's what I did. Oh, God. The sugar that I ate. And then our bodies change a little bit, so we don't necessarily um, process, metabolize things the way that we used to. So what we used to get away with. And I've talked about that here before, how, I mean, who, who amongst us didn't do things like Chinese food or pizza? in the middle of the night or go to a diner and have as much grease, not the good kind, as you could possibly have. I mean, you know, guilty, guilty as charged, or come home and just attack that refrigerator. It's, it's certainly changed, hasn't it? I hope you've developed some good habits along the way. And that's what we like to hear about and that's what we like to share here. And I love how people um, share what works for them, and I'm finding some great, um, some great sites. Um, Cooking with Christy, Cooking Keto with Christy is a great um, site, and I just watched her make a fat, a um, fathead pizza. It took 18 minutes to make, and I haven't made one yet, but I think I might. Instead of all the almond flour, it's going to be the mozzarella cheese and. Um, and I just need to get the band-aids out because I'll be using the food processor again. But um, yeah, so sugar. And I really, really liked my video on sugar is our gateway drug. Because sugar travels on so many different items to get inside of you. A lot of it is the flour products, but a lot of it is the hydrogenated oils and things that you, the omega-6 oils and all of those things that just create so much inflammation inside of your body. Um, we don't really want that. And it's not like inflammation burns. You don't feel it like acid. Well, you might feel it like acid indigestion. But the inflammation really just doesn't do our system well. So don't treat your sugar crash with another piece of sugar. Now, I did it in the healthy sense when I first started on Weight Watchers and I was allowed unlimited fruits. I would have I would have a piece of fruit like probably every two hours of my waking day. And I thought that this is free, this is working. And you know, it did work for a while because of the choices I made before I got to Weight Watchers. Of course it worked. Why wouldn't? Because, wouldn't it? Because I was having, you know, not the good things. And <clears throat> then I switched to that. And because it was legal, I guess I just kept feeding, feeding my sugar crash, crash with another piece of fruit. And I did lose, I don't know, about 18 to 20 pounds on Weight Watchers before I switched over to low-carb, high-fat. And um, gave up the multiple fruits every day. Now I just have a little dish of organic berries every day, noonish. And I do look forward to those berries. I love my berries. Um, so that's that's how I roll. I do not treat a sugar crash with a sugar crash anymore. And it's really nice to have that feeling. And when I'm tired at 3 in the afternoon, I feel it's appropriate because I'm up between 2 and 3. And so 
that is my laggy time of day. And, um, but I've been curing it, so to speak, before it happens, preventing it from happening. And I'm having uh, a regular salad with two eggs on it and two tablespoons of Evu um, at lunch. And I'm only eating half of the salad, but both of the eggs. And then my um, berries and um, some sort of fat, like I'm having my mini yogurt breakfast that has coconut oil and full fat yogurt in it and peanut butter. And um, these things hold me. I guess the fat the fats hold me through the crash of the afternoon. And then I get home around, well, five-ish all this week and um, have my dinner, have the second half of the salad, but the eggs I had for lunch. So I'm figuring out what works for me and I hope that you guys figure out what works for you just like what didn't work for you with feeding the sugar with more sugar. And, um, you know, I I'm so glad to be sugar free. I hope you guys are working on it. Not only that, but artificial sugar free. Um, I've just got the Xyla at this point and I have one tablespoon of that. Um, disclosure, when I have my fat bomb, I have white chocolate in it, which I know has some sugars in it. And I look for the low, lowest carb sugar. I've been buying the black and something organic white sugar and I only have two little squares of it and then some GR Deli white chocolate morsels cooking morsels and that's it for like the added sugar to something that I have all week long but it works and my teeth aren't brown anymore so that's that so today's going to be a two video day or the, what I'm doing now is going to be a two video day I don't think this one will be maybe it's short but anyway, don't feed your sugar crash with another bunch of sugar. Don't feed a carb crash with another bunch of carbohydrates. Carbage isn't good for us. And so um, hopefully you, you've, you're getting that message. And you're, if you're still having wheat, it's definitely limited. <clears throat> and if you join the low-carb, high-fat other tribe that lives here, you know, you've given up the wheat and the added sugar and um, feel the, the benefits from that and um, see the lab work that proves it works. But if you're not there, that's okay. Weight Watchers works. It worked for me. It's working for others. It's working for Oprah. So why not? Um, so don't forget to track. Look out for those crashes. Pay attention to them because they're teaching you about your body. Have a wonderful day. This has been Sarah. Until the next time, bye-bye for now.